Right, I've, ar I've arrived at Dunkery Beacon. I videoed for 10 minutes and of course hadn't turned the proper record button on. <sighs> I'm parked down there somewhere. Parked Alberta down there. And uh, I've got a feeling I've go I'm already going up the wrong track. I've seen somebody going on there a minute ago. Um, so I think I've... I've got, I'm going the wrong way already. That's me. I always make work hard for myself. This is Dunkery Beacon, about the 10th of September 2018. Uh, the time now, it's taken about two hours to get here. It's quarter past 12. I got here at 12 actually. Yeah, I can see people going up and down over there. I've obviously... <laughs> I can probably join up in a minute. It doesn't matter if I'm skirting. Um, I think the main track goes straight up. Oh dear. <sighs> Never mind. It's still a nice day. I'm just hoping the rain keeps off. Um, this, today is more of a recce, really. Um, I'm carrying far too much stuff, I think. But um, the problem is... I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Unfortunately, I, I was silly. I was taking photographs of a, a stone with Dunkery something written on it. Dunkery Bridge or something. And I didn't see the smaller wooden posts. They weren't very well marked. Um, I didn't see one further up. Which could be where people I've, that were behind me are going. So they're not coming up this one. I'm just hoping, so I don't want to walk through a load of bracken. It's typical of me, though, to have uh, taken the wrong turn in, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I always do things the hard way, you know, always. But I'll tell you what, though, when I do make those hard... Not errors, or slight errors, really. I do learn the way around thoroughly. Because I reckon those people that are behind me, I go straight up. I've seen somebody come down that way. I'm just hoping there's a way up in a minute. I seem to be skirting at the moment. I don't even think that's the top yet. Anyway, the important thing is, I've managed to park. Now, as usual, I'm usually far too adventurous when I try and plan my walks. I forget about the, this all hilly here. And I think, oh yeah, it looks like a straight line, see? I think, oh yeah, just walk along there, Sheila, you'll be there in no time. But you forget it's all up and down. This is obviously a very ancient track I'm on now. But I didn't, I didn't read the sign. It was so big and obvious. I just thought, well, I'll just walk along that. That's bound to it. I thought it was going to work cur cur around. That was the problem. There was a lot of pressure on me to get up my parking space because it was very limited. Oh, I don't know now. Never mind. I think the most important thing today is to get up to this beacon wherever it is. And uh, I just feel I'm going the wrong way. Everyone seems to be going that way. All right, over and out for a minute. Right, a little bit more videoing. Look. Looks like a flipping Roman road, doesn't it? It does look like a Roman road. It might have been. Or it's a definitely an ancient path. What I'm doing is, um, I've looked at the map. I'm skirting around the beacon. I'm going to come up at some point and um, I get a bit further up I should meet the Macmillan Way now the Macmillan Way I don't know how far it goes down across Exmoor or where it ends up because I haven't looked but I know it goes through the Quantox and the Quantox are over that way I don't even know this landscape yet 
I'm still learning about this landscape, right? I know Dunster's down there and the coast is a bit over. I might be able to see the Quantocks when we're further up. Fingers crossed it don't rain. I have got a windshield. I have got a windshield. I'm wearing a jumper. Um, now this was the best day this week, apparently until maybe later in the week, to do when there's no rain, because rain is the enemy. Because if, um, if it was forecast rain, I'd have to put umbrella and um, uh, waterproof. I'd have to carry them as well, right? Now I have got them and they're in the van. But my bag already weighs a ton. So I didn't particularly want to carry any more stuff in um, an un unknown place where I'm walking. Um, I'm doing a recce today. It's uh, almost two hours. It's almost two hours to get here. I was in the garage putting petrol in at 10 o'clock, just outside Weston. So it took two hours. I got here at 12 to Park Alberta. I mean, if it started to pour now, I could just head back to the van, you see. The beacon's over that way somewhere. Further down, I've seen a load of walkers and they were going somewhere else. But this is well used. Anyway, I was gonna, this is a recce, so it doesn't really matter if I'm doing a bit of boundary work. But it is, oh, I'm going uphill. And there's more to go. Dunkery Beacon's the highest peak in Somerset. The highest hill. Is it 580 meters? Something like that. It's really high, apparently. I mean, it ain't compared to Scotland Wells. But it's our big beacon. I am glad I'm on my own in many ways because I do get so breathless and I can stop and rest. Whereas if, say, I was to meet someone now and they say, oh, I'll walk with you, I'd say, oh, I don't know. Mainly because of my breathing. I mean, it's not, not that I'm unfit, but I am a bit unfit because I, I can still do these walks, but uh, they have to be at my pace. I don't think I, I think I would collapse if somebody made me walk at their pace and they'd say they didn't have a heavy bag on. I mean, at one point, I was going to stop at a place called w Watton Courtney, which is a small village. <sighs> Park up near the church there. Have a quick look around the church and then get on the Macmillan Way and walk up to the beacon. Now, because I'm taking this diversion, which I've got no idea how long it's going to take me, because everyone else is going straight up the middle. Um... Because I don't know how long it's going to take me, my plans might have to change slightly. Because um, I was going to try and walk to Watton Courtney today and then back, but I don't, I really don't know. And sometimes I overestimate how far a place is. I mean, I'm walking from down there in the valley and I'm already out of breath. Anyway, it will get better though. I always get better. Now here you can see they've had fires, but on the bracken here. But quite often these are deliberate fires. They do it on purpose. They do it, it's a, it's a special word for it. I mention it all the time. Right, we are flattening out a bit. I've just got to look for a path in a minute that goes 
Right. I mean, it could be that taking this route, going round the beacon, is better than going straight up. But I still, pre I, I reckon I'll still have a climb when I get down here. Because I'm, I reckon I'm at the foot of it. I can't even see it yet. Right, now because of the weather, I've got um, quite a thick jumper on, which I'm wearing, rather than putting in my bag, which is there's not a lot of room in my bag. I brought a spare camera, battery chargers, spare leads. There's the sheep, getting some nutrient from that burnt heather there. You feel like you could just walk over, don't you? And if I go up here, let's have a look. There even looks like a type of ditch. Yeah, I reckon you could probably walk straight up. But I'll carry on this path. I won't deviate. We don't know werewolves chasing us. Over and out for a minute, everyone. <laughs> 